Reports indicate that annually 25,000 children are born sickless. Unfortunately, 80% of these children die before five years. In Uganda, Leptong district is leading with the highest prevalence of 23% higher than the national prevalence. So a Leptong Health Center for if could also be equipped to handle cases because now that the prevalence is very high, that means we also need to have uh, the drugs and also the enough personnel. We need to support them. How? Makere University, through the Department of Population Studies, conducted a three-phase survey in a Leptong district to assess how information, education and communication materials can improve knowledge, attitudes and practices towards sickle cell disease in the district. We went back, we analyzed the data and the results show that there was an improvement in knowledge of sickle cell disease. Then there was an improvement in testing of sickle cell disease because during the behavioral change campaign we did some testing of sickle cell disease. So Dr. Gaba says the behavioral change campaigns conducted in three sub-counties caused a significant change. There is need for more sensitization of the masses. There is need to avail sickle cell testing services for the people. Mm. Florence, a Keche mother to a 12-year-old girl, says the intervention in the sub-county has reduced stigma on her daughter. She says her neighbors have now allowed their children to play with her. A Leptom district chairperson wants government to allocate more funding to the district to implement the recommendations made by Makere University. Considering the the information which we have got and the level of awareness of creation which is created in those three sub-countries, I feel more funding, more resources should be allocated so that we reach out to the entire district. The hydroxyurea capsule, that helps us a lot. Uh, the formulation that are in place are still uh, an adult formulation. If it would be possible, they should uh, make a formulation that can address the problem of the children because our children are those who are suffering the most. Sickle cell disease, also called sickle cell anemia, is a group of inherited red blood cell disorders deformed into a sickle shape. The cells die early and can block blood flow, causing pain known as sickle cell crisis. Ediolua, UBC News. Mm-hmm.